guys, it's Mary Mia back again with another video helping you to become a profitable and successful content creator. So if you need help with growing, monetizing and branding yourself online as a content creator, make sure you check the link in the description box below. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five mistakes you're making as a content creator. The first one is not understanding the difference between consistency and frequency. I always say it's not about how much you're posting, it's about the value of what you're posting. Posting twice a week is better than just posting every day for the sake of posting. So try to navigate your content and make sure you're posting valuable content each time you post and you're not just posting for the sake of, oh my God, I need to show up online. The second point is not planning your content. How many times do you see people just throw in fillers like just random pictures just for the sake of posting again because they don't have their content plan ahead the best thing to do is look at the year plan maybe three months four months in advance and just to know okay what content am i posting at this particular time that gives them time ahead to really schedule your content plan your outfit plan the location and see if you need more probes here and there. Just make sure you plan your content ahead because this will only keep you organized and make you a better content creator. So the next point I want to make is not having a why. Like it's good to show up online every day, but why are you showing up? Like I get people who tell me every time, oh Miriam, I'm not growing, I want to grow, I want to um, have more followers. Why do you want to have this much followers? Is it for you to be able to reach more people? Is it for you to be able to convert? Is it for you to be able to um, network and grow your community? You need to have a reason why. The reason why I post on my paid Instagram or YouTube is to help other content creators like me avoid some mistakes that I've made or learn from the things that I'm learning from and I'm using every day. So you need to clarify with yourself, why are you posting online? So the next point I'm going to be making is getting easily distracted. I know, I know it can be really frustrating when you see other content creators doing well, other content creators posting about one collaboration or the other, or other content creators doing some trips and having exciting thing going on for them. And you feel like, oh my God, I've just been stuck here. I'm not growing, um, I'm not moving, nothing is happening. Just stay focused. As long as you clarify your why and you're posting consistently good content, trust me, everything is gonna come around. Everything is gonna happen for you, but you need to stay focused. If you always look at everybody out there doing great things, guess what? You would never really focus on yours. And I think you should see it as a great source of inspiration to have people on your timeline doing well. That's the way I see. Like I see on the other content creators on my timeline posting about this collaboration, posting about that. And it really inspired me one, and I want to support them because they're doing well. If it's happening for them, it's gonna happen for me. And I can also take inspiration from what they're creating and be like, oh my God, this campaign is really good or this content is really good. I really like that content and it inspired me to uh, do my own content or like create something like in my own way, but just drawing inspiration for what you're doing. So don't take it as a bad thing, just take it as a great thing that everybody around you is doing something great and something is happening for them because eventually it's gonna be your turn. Last one I want to say is, I know I wouldn't finish this whole list without talking about money. And the reason why um, I make it very important to talk about money is because black content creators we are underpaid that's like clear and direct like everybody knows that so the more we content creators talk about money and we share our experience or tips to help other black content creators out there the better it's gonna be so i always make sure i put away because trust me it's fun doing this but at the same time if you can get paid for your ad work, you deserve it because you're putting in the work and you should be getting a return for that. So the last one I want to make is the mistake you need to avoid when it comes to partnership and collaboration with brands is you don't negotiate. Many content creators, they see the, they see the, the brand name and they don't even try. Yet sometimes you negotiate, you go back and forth and the brand is really stiff on that side and you really want to work with them, you are said, but at least try. You need to try to always negotiate your deals. You need to try to always ask for more. I said it many times in my previous video, even when it's gifting, 
so if a brand is just gifting and you really want to accept that are you asking for more are you asking them to add more items into the box just need to negotiate every time don't get carried away especially when a brand is coming to you directly you didn't pitch to them you are just on your own doing great and flourishing and they come to you and they say we'd like to work with you um this is our rate you know when they're giving you that rate most especially you need to try to double up <laughs> you need to try to bump it up because the rate they're going to give you at first is not the actual rate in reality they're actually expecting you to push back and they will top it up so make sure you negotiate especially when a big brand is coming to you trust me they have money for this they have the budget for this they would not go to facebook uh, ads and tell them okay we're gonna advertise on your page for exposure no when it's a small brand feel free to support i support small brands especially if you're a black owned business brand i support them i help them because i've got a business as well let's be realistic but when it's those brands that you know that they're working in the billions and the millions and they reach out to you they saw the value in your work and you need to make sure you negotiate that fee before you sign the contract then the last one i'm just going to say is working without contract contract is not a a trap contract is not a like i don't know it's it's not horrible it's to protect yourself and also protect the brand it's to make sure that everything is written on paper all the deliverables are there so when a brand is telling you we want you to do a b c they don't come back to tell you oh we were expecting you to do a b c d e because guess what in the contract it tells you that you have to do abc and that's what you sign for that's what you charge them for so make sure you have a contract regardless of how small the brand is especially also when it's uh, small businesses because they try to figure it as a, as well you can make the contract and send it to them and both of you sign if they're not sending you a contract like that's fine it's it's totally normal when you get a job the regular traditional nine to five job you sign a contract they tell you how much you're going to be paying you monthly how much you're going to be getting weekly or i don't know bi-weekly or something there is a contract and they tell you what you have to do what what is your role what do you have to deliver on that's the way you need to start looking at it any brand you're working with even though they're just giving you one uh, piece to shoot and it's just to post on one platform and they're just paying you 50 pounds like 100 pounds I'm, I'm just saying that <laughs> okay um, depending on what your rate is that's an example make sure you have a contract have everything written down just don't do like oh yeah i accept okay fine if it's gifting gifting has no contract attached to it well i would expect you're not taking gifting based on a strict contract because that's gifting and it's up to you to decide if you want to post about it or not but if it's a partnership that you're being paid for and they expect deliverables from you make sure you have a contract and as well also in the end most brands don't pay immediately they pay you like seven days uh 15 days 30 days after you've posted that's totally normal but that's the reason why you need a contract because it needs to be stated there and you're not chasing the brand every time or chasing them throughout the month to say okay when are you paying me based on the contract you should have a date that you get paid that's everything for today i hope this video was really helpful and i hope you really enjoyed it again like i said if you need more help with your brand if you need more help with growing and branding yourself and just strategizing basically tailored for your brand make sure you click the link below and you can book a session with me and we can talk about all that thank you for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys